four men are participating in today's show. MNB World Team picked father with two daughters, loving husband, grateful son, and judoka boy who dreams to become Olympic champion. These Mongolian men have one thing in common. They all love women. Today our guests will share their opinion about women in their lives openly and surprise them on the International Women's Day. Mongolians began celebrating the holiday since early 20th century under the Soviet influence. And now it is widely celebrated in Mongolia. Roses and chocolates are the popular treat. Hello everybody, uh, my name is Patulga. I'm a, a university lecturer at the uh, Law Enforcement University of Mongolia. Also, I'm founder of uh, Mongolian Amateur Cricket Association and the current head of the association. Namak Irlani Bolatidik, Girbul Horong Hukti Hunt under the Hot Arslan Construction Company, who is the recent secret, has gone to Shaltagar. I just joined Hello, my name is Nimsurung. I'm 28 years old. I work in National Cancer Center as a surgeon. I'm married and we have uh, two girls and uh, older one is uh, 15 year old and little one is 8 year old. I'm married and I'm i the women and men's role is equal in Mongolian culture. I'm really optimistic uh, about uh, my uh, girls' uh, future. Um, they are so good children. And I really uh, want them to be um, the healthy and well educated and um, kind hearted. This is the National Sports Center in Ulaanbaatar, and there are various sports training courses for everyone. Tamir regularly practices judo with other young upcoming athletes. Judo is a popular sport among Mongolians. We have a gold medalist from the Olympics in 2008 and number of silver and bronze medalists from worldwide competitions in judo. These champions are great inspirations for the youngsters. Then, <laughs> Bolat usually buys roses for his wife, but this time he chose white lilies. Mongolians have a specific appreciation and symbolism for different colors. In Mongolia, white color represents pure heart and appreciation. <laughs> The good father of two precious girls is at one of the biggest movie theatres in Ulaanbaatar. 
and choosing the movie for his daughters. Cashier Girl recommended him to buy tickets of newly released movie Ferdinand, but the girls had already seen it, so he chose the Black Panther. I'm ready to surprise my daughters. My mother's name is actually Ambelik. Uh, she works in uh, any, another hospital uh, as an anesthesiologist. Dear mother, I don't think I tell you enough that I love you. So I decided to tell how you mean the world to me today. I love you, mom, for the life you have given me. Nim Surin studied for years to become a doctor. He's been through many challenges during his study years and his mother was always there for him. Today, as a successful doctor, he wants to express his appreciation and gratefulness to his mother for always being there for him and supporting him. Oh, that's a good one. Where is that? Oh, that's a good Well, the young Judah boy surprised his mother, and now he's taking her to a coffee shop to treat her with his pocket money, which he had been saving for a while now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Hello, my dear. Happy International Women's Day. It's been forever since I wrote a letter to my beautiful woman. I just wanted to tell that you are the best half of my whole universe. Yamsurum decided to have this little girl to deliver the letter for his mother. The letter is not signed, and the little girl asked Nemsunan's mother to read something for her. <laughs> She recognized her son's handwriting right away. The letter is of course filled with the words of gratefulness. She thanks the girl for being part of her son's surprise. MNB World presents Happy International Women's Day. The role between father and the mother are becoming similar, whereas in past years it was mother, father's responsibility to be more of an economically active and you know figure of a breadwinning. Nowadays it's more like shared responsibility. We can both um, a husband and a wife can work and at the same time take care of the children as well. I feel very fortunate to be born as a Mongolian woman. Throughout all the countries who has more involvement in women in decision making, uh, let's say you have more, more women in parliament, more women in decision making levels, that, parla that, that parallels 
parallel <laughs> parallels with the uh, increase in the economic and social development of that country. Another was to conclude that uh, we say, as much as you empower women, as much as you have the path for the woman to progress in decision making, that's how your country develops. As an adult, I would like to give the aspiring younger generation uh, opportunity to express their voice, to be heard, and I'd like to help people in my life and also work for um, the preservation of the environment and the uh, maintenance of human rights. So really I'd like to be someone that uh, others can look up to, um, that others can approach for help, and I'd like to be someone who loves what um, she is doing and you know just e expresses love and I'd like to be understanding and caring as well. I want to be a doctor because doctors can help and cure lots of sick people because I like to help people and I feel nice when I help people. The future I hope for and I want to create is a place where you know, young girls aren't held back because of their gender and they aren't looked down on or uh, abused in any certain way just because they are girls and I want them to have equal rights in the workplace and not be held down by a glass ceiling. Um, I would like for them to be free to express uh, their opinions and to make their own decisions and build their own life. However, I believe we should embrace our uniqueness and cooperate together. And, you know, only then can we actually truly uh, build a better world for our next generation, for ourselves, and work towards freedom and peace. Thank you for raising me for eight years and always been there for me for at all those hard moments and I love you, Mom. I would like to take this moment to tell my mother that no matter what happens in life, and I know that we sometimes don't get it along and we have our agreements and disagreements, but even if um, we end up arguing, I would like to let you know that I will love you no matter what and to me you're one of the uh, most serious people in the world and I looked up to you a lot because um, to me you're an icon, you're an idol of what I want to be in the future and you represent a true meaning of what a strong woman, a, a good mother really is. So, so I'd like to thank you for that and say I love you.